All right, good evening, um, Esther Gidui. You are in for Vincent McCory. Tonight we begin with good news from East Africa. Kenya Airways' first direct flight to the United States landed this morning at New York's JFK airport. The airliner was greeted with a traditional water cannon blast for inaugural flights. The Boeing Dreamliner jet carried 234 passengers, including Kenyan Foreign Affairs Cabinet Secretary Monica Juma, Kenya Airways Chief Executive Sebastian Mikosi, and the U.S. Ambassador to Kenya, Robert Gardick. The first direct flight took about 14 hours, compared with 22 hours with flights that require refueling, stops, or changing planes. The airline sees the direct flight as key to expanding access to the U.S. market. It's part of Kenya's drive to expand tourism and business li links with American companies. Speaking in Nairobi shortly before the departure, Kenyan President Uhuru Kenyatta said the direct flight will uh, put Kenya ahead with the rest of the world.